Welcome everyone. So today we will solve lead code problem 20 valid parenthesis and we will be solving it using Golang. So this problem states that we are given a set of parenthesis and we need to determine whether the input string which has a set of parenthesis is valid or not. So they have also given some conditions when will the string be valid. So the string will be valid when open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. Okay, so that means if my open bracket is this circular bracket, then that means this should also be closed by the same type of bracket that means circular bracket. It also says that open brackets must be closed in the correct order. <coughs> so that means um, something like this is not possible. If my open bracket, if I have, a, if I have an open bracket of circular type, then that means it must be closed by the same circular type close bracket before before another closed square bracket pops up like if it is like if I have an open bracket then that means it must be closed by before opening another type of bracket then this is this is what it means so like if I have a circular bracket then that means it must be closed before I open another type of bracket so that's what it means uh, so like if I give if I give you some examples, um, this is valid type, but and this is also valid. Like this is valid. This is also valid. Like my this type of bracket is closed after this type of bracket is closed. So that means my bracket should be closed in sequential order. Like if I have if I have a circular bracket that is that is getting opened, then if I have a square bracket that is getting opened, then that means my square bracket should be closed before I close my circular bracket these both are correct but this is wrong so this one is wrong why because my brackets are not getting closed in sequential order my first circle, uh, circular bracket opens up but then it gets closed before my square bracket gets closed since square bracket was opened after my circular bracket was op opened then that means it should be closed before my circular bracket is closed so that's why it's wrong. So what? How we'll solve this? Uh, we will traverse the string one by one, and we will traverse the string, and we will keep on checking whether our bracket is open or not. If our bracket is open, then that means that we'll just push it in 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 a stack. We'll maintain a stack for this. If our bracket is open, we'll push it in a stack. But if our bracket is closing, if our bracket is closing, then we will just check. If our bracket is closing, then we'll just check if the last bracket, last open bracket in our stack is open type. Right. If our last circular, if our last bracket in our stack is open type and it matches the type of the bracket that is closing, then only we will proceed. Else, we will just return false. Because if our last open bracket is not of the same type that is closing, then that is not a valid string. Right. So we will just traverse this string one by one, and we will keep doing so. And if our last open bracket matches the circular bracket, then we will just pop the last open bracket, and we will continue traversing the string. So let's code this up. Uh, for now, uh, first we will create a map. Uh, our map will be closed to open, and this will be uh, white, and it will be uh, it will map close to open. I will copy this. and paste it here yep okay and now we will uh, create a string i'll name it string and we'll create a string uh, we'll create a slice a byte of slice and it will be a string so this what this will basically create a create a slice of characters from string and we will create a stack a stack will be of byte and it will initialize with zero now we will traverse through the slice of strings the slice of characters and it will be of range s now we will uh, extract the open uh, extract the closing bracket extract the open bracket so uh, open bracket and is close from the map 
थिंक दिस विल बी मैं या क्लोज टू ओपन एंड दिस विल बी सी एच सो दिस बेसिकली गिव अस द ओपन ब्रैकेट ऑफ द क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट एंड दिस विल गिव अस वेदर करेक्टर इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस मैप और नॉट सो इफ द करेक्टर इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द मैप If the character is not present in the map, then that means the we have a closing type bracket. We have a closing type bracket, right? Because if it is not present in the map, then that means uh, sorry. So if if it is not present in the map, then that means we have an open type bracket. We have open type bracket, so we'll just push it in a star. Append stat character. Now if it is, and we'll just continue. Now, if it is, if it does, is a closing bracket, then we will check if our length of stack is zero. If our length of stack is zero, and it is a closing type bracket, that that means we do not have an open bracket, open type same bracket. So we'll just return false. Now, what we will do is, uh, we will check. Uh, we will we will extract the last bracket in our stack. So last open bracket in our stack. Length of stat minus one, and we will remove the last open bracket from our stat. So this will be stat till length till length of stat minus one. This will take all the elements of stat except the last element. Now we will check if last open is not equal to open. Then that means it is a different type of open bracket. So we will just return false, and that is it. and at the end we'll just check if a length of stack is zero if a length of stack is zero then that means we have popped all the open brackets and this is where we return true else we return false now let's run this up and see if it works and there was an error what was the error close to open character two variables but one value okay uh hmm am i declaring map wrong declare map golang uh make map string int make string int okay map string int map byte uh Map byte byte. There was a compilation error now. So this map string int. Okay, I need to put it in a square bracket. I'll run this now. and stack okay length of stack minus 1 undefined i'll just initialize it and it does pass i'll submit it now and we can see it is accepted and it is pretty efficient so this was all for today i'll see you in next one